All right, so we're back with some more exclusive demo footage I captured at EVO for Dragon Ball Sparking Zero. And again, the game is only six weeks away. It's super exciting. I absolutely cannot wait for the full release here. And as you can tell by the video itself, the main attraction is the Spirit Bomb being fully charged. Uh, so if you're excited for that, feel free to go ahead and leave a like on the video. And let me know, you know, what move or ultimate attack that has not been shown yet that you're most interested in seeing in sparking zero but let's go ahead and start the gameplay here and you can see that we're starting off with final form frieza versus goku mid of course goku mid is the one who does have the spur bomb that can be charged up and here is the special dialogue between the two characters this likely has been seen before uh actually this is a frieza super actually so it's not even like frieza z because we only had frieza super and the demo itself so i can't wait to see what dialogue frieza z might have i had to go ahead and knock away i think hey, he tried to grab me right there most likely and then we just start you know getting some combos and building up the meter right there we do want the stock to go up and how you charge up the spare bomb in case you're not aware it's pretty much like a lot of the other dragon ball games Tank IT3 work like this. Um, I believe Dragon Ball Fighters work like this as well, right? A lot of different games work like this. You see right there, there's a give me your energy. And that is something that you get on classic controls by pressing, I believe, L2 and circle. And what that does is that gives you a little bar right there. You see under my health bar, there's a red little mark right there. That's a status effect. And you know, you can you get those status effects when you see like buffs or like you know, if you get your attack up, your defense up. Up, etc you see right there that's a special one for goku specifically and that will make the spirit bomb damage that you do a lot i think um a lot more right you'll see the damage at the end i might have, i might even put the damage in the title itself but we do quite a lot and sorry about the shaky camera by the way I try to make a lot of cuts here to like kind of fix state the camera but sometimes you know uh i forgot who, who is there holding the camera for me but um unfortunately it's a little shaky right there he switched out to early piccolo which is fine i wanted to you know build up more bar anyways and you see right there we get three bars and finally at four stocks right there you do need six stocks total in order to fully charge a spirit bomb and you can see there's a little number next to it so there was two and then now there's three stocks in total and that is the max that you're able to do but I just wanted to double check and make sure that that was officially the case before I actually threw the spirit bomb, hit him with the sonic sway. You can do that when you're guarding, by the way. And if you time it perfectly, you could also do a perception, right? Uh, if you don't time it correctly, but again, timing it perfectly, you could do sonic sway and then gain and a, a little slight advantage there, which is really good. Um, again, just doing basic combos, key blast extensions, or trying to make sure things are good. And you can see right there, it is grayed out, so you cannot no longer do the give me your energy once you have the full three charges. So I decided to go here into the sparking mode, fly towards Freezer, who did finally, uh, we, I think we finally locked onto him. I knocked him down to the ground very quickly, and bam, here's the Namek Yoku Spirit Bomb unfortunately uh well, well let's talk about the damage here first right if you take a look here we do <laughs> yeah 30.9k damage which is a lot of damage i mean literally go look at any other gameplay like any other ultimates and things like that you could see Oh, uh, the cannon, by the way, transforming into Super Saiyan right after that. But um, you could see that a lot of these other ultimates do like, you know, 15 to like 19, 20k damage on their ultimates. 30k damage is a lot of damage, dude. It's kind of crazy. And we're just getting getting a little a little bit of stuff here at Super Saiyan Goku himself. But um, yeah, that 30.9k damage ult is really, really devastating. Now, there are situations where the Spirit Bomb can just like... It, it, from what I've seen if a spirit bomb hits any destructible part of the stage it like blows up on that part of the stage which really sucks but if you're in an area like this where it's like full open waters or like a open area you're able to really land the spirit bomb really nicely but uh yeah i mean i think that's really cool that you know if you do put the bar uh or i keep saying bar but the stocks into it you're able to get a huge damage spirit bomb i could i could see that realistically be used in a lot of gameplay because i mean we see like well before the time we even started counting down uh we're able to get that pretty easily right as long as we kept the advantage there so 
I would say it may be just a smarter move to use those, um, what's it called? The stocks for like revenge counter and stuff like that. But that spirit bomb, man, if you're able to land it, that could like almost one shot certain characters. Like, you know, Herco 100% gets one shot by that. And if I'm not mistaken, it's like 10k, um, it's like 10k, 10k damage is like one HP bar. So with that in mind, I mean, any character that has three HP bars would get instantly one shot. And if you're attacking a character with multiple HP bars, if you combo into it, you could easily just get a one hit KO combo on them, which is very devastating. So I do like that quite a bit that Goku mid has that in his back pocket, right? You know, just in this game specifically, Beerus, Beerus is really good with perception hitting with the Sonic Sway. You saw that I was stuck there. It was like really weird because I like hit Beerus like I like whiffed him, I guess. But then the Sonic Sway still hit. So I was just kind of stuck there in the animation because Beerus missed like kicking me away, right? You do that at the end of the Sonic Sway animation. So I guess I'll like what happens is you get stuck there even if the kick doesn't really land which you know arguably that's kind of really crazy if you are in a situation like that you could start a pretty nasty combo or like snipe someone if you're in spark mode like an ultimate that, that could be really nasty um this looks really weird right because we're at like at the top of the water but beers tried to throw the little um hakai ball at me and it's like nah brother <laughs> let's chill let's show brother um Okay, so I did do Fat Boo versus Beerus, which they did have a special dialogue that I didn't really mention, of course, earlier. But that was a pretty cool special dialogue. Boo Boo was like, I don't take your crest, buddy. Right? <laughs> uh, that's very funny. So we do have the Paralyzed Beam available i don't think i actually use the paralyzed beam here or sleep sleep can recover your health and key which i i think is pretty cool right um and it's not really a long animation you could just knock someone away and then before they even recover if you have the bar you could use sleep and by the time they get back to you you're already ready you could use perception or whatever you want to do um perception probably would be a good like method right there using knocking them away using sleep and then when they come back to you, you'll likely be recovered before then. Then you use perception so you can get a sonic sway or open them for a combo. And then it's like, oh, now you have the advantage again, right? Which is really good. Um, uh, yeah, Beerus is throwing a lot of key blasts in this game specifically. But we just get a little bit of just a basic like little thing with Majin Buu there. And I think we finish him off in the water. So Beerus is done here. Then we have Cell Saga Super Vegeta, I believe. And I do switch to Super Saiyan Blue Goku. Getting some more Blue Goku gameplay. Because I'm like, you know, if you look at the past videos, I have not really used Blue Goku, right? Like a lot of these like me mega characters that people end up using, I ended up not really like um using them too much because a lot of people want to see these other characters that we don't have a lot of gameplay of right but i decided for myself and my channel i wanted to use blue goku i do actually like how super saiyan blue looks in the game looks really good um and just you know get you need to just do some stuff right there like see what kind of stuff i could mix in you saw earlier i did the key blast uh when vegeta was turned around i stopped the combo did a key blast right there to keep him stunned and then i continued a new combo you could do some really fun stuff and dude it was like so hard to see him like where did vegeta go bro just keeps running through all the destructible stage and he brought golden frieza i'm like okay you know can i we, we're canon out here let's go all right and we're just like kicking golden frieza uh he did vanish grab me right there i couldn't really move and he threw his blast at me but i did vanish last second right there i timed that perfectly and i was like okay we cooked we cooked um frieza got the vanish there i don't know i guess i just didn't like try to combo fast enough unfortunately he hit me with that too i don't think i go kyle ken in this match do i go kyle ken in this match i don't actually don't remember the top of my head i don't believe i do i think free freeze is beating my ass here low-key uh, <laughs> not gonna lie to y'all uh throwing his beams at me okay finally here i get the advantage and i yeah the wall like he dropped out because of the wall okay, i find so many times that the enemies like just drop out of my combos because they're right next to the edge of the map or they hit like a part of the stage and i'm like well you know that kind of sucks that grab whiffed right there that the grab honestly sort of got me i do the revenge counter to try and get out of the combo and i try to do a blast right there to keep 
like get him stunned so I can go in again. But Frieza, unfortunately, man, just wiped me. I was like, dang, okay, that's crazy. And I decided to go ahead and dash behind him so I can get a little bit of an advantage. He guarded right there the down smash. Uh, you got to be careful with that down smash because they can guard that in the middle of the combo. So technically, it's not a true combo, right? But if they're not like watching out for it, then, you know, You'll be good. Though I expect a lot of people like in the middle of the combos will be like either trying to guard a lot or trying to hit you with a perception or a revenge counter, right? Or just simply evading. So you got to be really careful with that and how you handle it. But there we go. There is the gameplay I have today. Again, the big focus was the spirit bomb, but we do have a couple of other characters I was able to properly show off here today. So that is very, very cool. But of course, let me know what you guys think in the comments below. I do have basically other characters as well upcoming like i still have like 10 9, 9 10 videos or so i could upload of gameplay footage that i have and i'm trying i'm working on getting other videos on like my og dragon ball speculation video as well uh, i'm gonna be talking about like okay what characters we could see because since we had that confirmed yesterday but if you in fact if you haven't seen that video uh from yesterday about og dragon ball and my birder video you can feel free to check those out as well they might even be like on this screen right now but whatever i'm done yapping thanks all for watching and i'll catch you guys in the next sparking zero video peace out